Hello, dear friends. I hope your Christmas was blessed. Mine certainly was. There's a story about a little boy who went to the store excited that he was going to be able to shop alone. After gathering a few things for himself, he decided to look for a special gift for his father. Having carefully chosen that gift, he hurried home and excitingly gave it to his father, who was incredibly pleased. Guess where he got the money to buy the gift for his father? Yes, it was from his father. He had given it to him. In this season, which is so overwhelmed with the tradition of gift giving, I wonder how much time we spend meditating on the fact that everything we have, including time, has been given to us by our Father. In recognition of and in appreciation for that, what special gift or gifts have we intentionally prepared for Him? Our Father. Our Father in heaven wants us to thank him from our heart and serve him by the way we act each day. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, says, Today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you, the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with an angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those to whom his favor rests. May we thank God for the gift of salvation through his Son, Jesus Christ. May we express this love and how we treat others, especially during this pandemic. This coming week, may our hearts overflow with the gifts of thankfulness and thoughtful care for each other to honor our Heavenly Father. God's richest blessings to be with you and your family. May you stay safe during this pandemic. God bless you. Amen.